What is going on guys, Joel here, and today we're going to be talking about another city of Tweak, and this one is called Pattern Unlock. It's from the developer Jonas Gesner, and you can find it in the Big Boss Reaper for $1.99. Now, what this actually does, it's an Android-inspired lock screen. So if we go ahead and lock our device, and then our we go ahead and slide to unlock right here, we see that we have an Android-style unlock pattern uh, little circles here. So let's go ahead and unlock the device. So let's go ahead and check out the settings in this. So we'll go into our settings app, scroll all the way down to pattern unlock settings. And here I'll have to go ahead and enter my little pattern code. So here in pattern unlock settings, we have our turn pattern unlock off. And right under that, we are able to change our pattern. So we go ahead and enter our old pattern and we'll simply go ahead and set up a new pattern here. I think I forgot it. There it goes. So we can change the pattern if you'd like. And then right into that we have require pattern. Uh, you choose if you want to require the pattern immediately after one minute, after two minutes, such and such, and so on, whatever. Um, and then now under that we have themes. Now on the themes, we actually have a couple to choose from, which is pretty cool. And if you hit the little arrow right here on the side, you do get a preview of the theme right there. So this one's gonna be the clear one. So let's go ahead and check that one out real quick. Lock our device, slide to unlock. And you see here, we have a clear theme and I forgot that is not even the code. There it goes. So you saw there, you get a really thin line uh, pattern. So it's not really noticeable depending on your wallpaper and things like that. So let's go ahead and check out the droid theme here. So we go ahead and slide to unlock. And I see there we have a droid inspired uh, pattern unlock. And droid flat is the one I had in the beginning. Now let's go ahead and check out invisible. So we go here, slide to unlock. And you cannot even see this actually. There it goes. I'm surprised I even got that right. So let's check out the last one, which is one. And let's go ahead and slide to unlock. And I kind of like this one right here. So we'll go ahead and keep one selected. And under themes, we also have customized selected theme. So go ahead and check that out. And then we're able to configure a couple settings on here for the theme. So we have two finger position that is enabled and we also have between selected dots enabled. So let's go ahead and uncheck or unselect the between selected dots. Now, whenever I go into my little lock screen, go ahead and slide to unlock you will see that we don't have the little lines connecting to the dots. So of course that's gonna be because that is turned off. And then we also have two finger position. So if we have this off and this off, go ahead and check that out real quick. Again, it won't display the selected dots or show the line and it won't show the finger position as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these back on and we'll go down to theming guide so you're actually able to uh, even theme your own pattern unlock code if you'd like. So Jonas Gesner actually even provides a full article of how to actually theme your um, unlock pattern right there. So I think that is pretty cool. But let's go back into our settings. And we also have haptic feedback. So vibration. So you can turn on the vibration right here uh, whenever you do touch a point or also whenever you successfully unlock the device. So you can tweak up the little settings there, which is pretty nice to have. And also down here we have additional features. So we have option bars. So if you noticed whenever I go ahead and slide to unlock here, we have a little X right here on the top left. So that will simply just cancel out of the pattern unlock uh, screen there. So if we uncheck that, then that will actually disappear. So let's go back in there to unlock and you see there I have no X right up here on the top left so that is that little setting there now under that we also have an emergency call button so let's go ahead and check that out we also have to have option bar selected as well so let's go ahead and check that on and you see there we have the X on the top left and we have a, a little emergency call button on the top right so if we simply tap on that we'll get directed to the emergency call uh, screen right here so this tweak is really in-depth. I think it's a very awesome tweak. 
We also have one last setting and it's block device. So again, just like entering your passcode, your number passcode or whatnot, if you reach uh, a certain amount of attempts and you don't ever get it right, then it will lock your device. So also another cool thing is if we go ahead and set our passcode in our settings here, let's go ahead and turn this on and go ahead and set up a little passcode. Now, you may think this affects the number code, but we also have a button on the top right for the number pad. So we go ahead and tap on that, and then we put in our little keypad code. So that's another way to bypass the actual pattern unlock. If you decide maybe you don't want to enter that, you want to just type in your uh, passcode, you can do so. so that is really nice and convenient that it gives you that option so you have either the choice of uh, doing your pattern unlock or your keypad unlock but anyways guys that's gonna be it for this video you can check this out in the big boss repo it's called pattern unlock you can find it for 199 I think this is a very cool tweak I have seen many Android uh, inspired pattern unlock code uh, tweaks and everything but I think this one beats out all those other ones because some of the other ones are a little buggy and all that so go ahead and check this one out like I said you can find it in the Big Boss repo for $1.99 and it's called Pattern Unlock. Let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are about it and as always go ahead and hit that like button if you did like this video not only helps me but it supports the channel as well and if you're not yet following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram go ahead and do that uh, so you can contact me and all that good stuff and if you feel like being awesome go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next one. Alright? Peace!